So any intro guys, any intro, the first thing that will happen is the introduction part. The first thing, introduction to self guys. This is very common question that everybody knows. In the entire world of freshers level also, everybody knows that this is the first question that they will ask. But even in that point of view guys, none of will prepare, okay? None of them will prepare what is this introduction part. They will assume that every individual, you yourself guys will assume that you know about this introduction and you have uh, unprepared for this question and you went for an intro guys. When in the school days, when you know some questions will come in the exam, okay, there is a leak of a question and you already know that this question will definitely come in the intro uh, in the exam guys. You prepare the best for that one at least. Same thing here you don't do. I don't know why you may have overrated yourself with your own introduction guys or the people who has little bit language problem. Okay, the people whoever is having language problem guys, you cannot go unprepared. Any question guys, okay? Any questions, you cannot go for an interview unprepared guys. If somebody came to me and then asked Anil, how do you introduce yourself? Or how should I introduce myself? That is the valid question that we need to start with. It is only one minute or less than a minute guys, okay? One minute question here, but very important guys, very important. You may think that Anil, you are just giving a story that it is how your introduction is important. Guys, this question is having a background story, guys. This particular introduction partner, it has a background story. The first point when we introduce, ask you to introduce yourself, guys, and you are not able to capably introduce yourself. The problem here, guys, we will give a review to our manager saying that one of the case, okay, one of the case, what we tell to the manager, guys, that this person is good in technical, but he is very bad in English. We cannot, he cannot communicate with the client. That's what the answer. Your bad introduction, guys, will lead you to the point in that you will not be good in communication with the client. That is the impression you have created with your introduction because I asked you to go for introduction. You did some introduction, guys. Very good. Very fine. Then what happens is when you join the project, guys, when you join the project, as you know, as you know, in a current situation, nobody is going for any office, right? So you joined today, guys. What manager will do? He will set a meeting with all of us for your introduction only. That is the first thing will happen in your life in that company. With the team, guys, the first thing will happen is the introduction only. Okay, fine. You can say that Anil, it is within the team only, within the manager only. What if I talk in a bad la words or bad language or what is about some not good language? What happens? Okay, you can say that uh, it is in the team, so your team member may not get any difference there. But on the same day, when they want to put it in your client meetings, in a client meeting, the very first thing, if I'm the lead of your team, if I'm the lead of your team, what I would do is at the time of meeting starts, as soon as the meeting starts, I will say that so and so new person has joined in our company. The new resource will be looking after this application and immediately I'll ask you to introduce yourself to the client also. See, an introduction part in the interview has a weightage of to know what you will tell to the client as well. Is it impressive introduction or a dummy introduction you will be telling to me? I'll give one introduction line guys. Okay, only one line I'll give you, then you can tell the difference. Most of you, not you in the sense, most of the intros which I have taken guys. Okay, the introduction will be like this. I'm Anil. I have completed my master's in some 2009. This is my introduction guys starting line. The second fellow has given introduction like this. I'm Anil. I have 10 plus years of mainframe experience. Now you tell me guys. Which one you are first one or second one? Which one I should tell in the interview guys? First one or second one? Second one. Second one. 
But how many of you told the second one in the real interview? Always you will tell the first fellow. I completed my B.Tech. I completed my masters. Because that is your biggest achievement so far till date. We have completed your education after 24 long years. You completed your education. That's the reason you are telling that one. But I don't care whether you are completed your masters, whether you completed your B.Tech, whether you completed your anything at any year. I don't care about that. You did not come to me to tell that you completed your education. Everybody who is in the interview has completed that education already and came to interview. I don't care which stream you are, whether you are electronic, civil, X, Y, Z, what you did. Doesn't matter, guys. You came for an interview for mainframe part and you are not telling that one as your introduction. And you are telling the same thing as one. Not only Gopi, everybody I'm telling you now, this is what you need to learn from me. This is the only thing guys. This has been my 12 years of knowledge of handling the interviews from the beginning of my career. This is what I have done for long, long years guys. So I know the difference of having an introduction from a person who came as a fake experience, a person who has a project experience. A fake experience person doesn't know anything of introduction. So he will introduce yourself with a experience of college. That is the first mistake to know what you did wrong guys. So again, let me ask you a question. Shall we learn the DB2 part guys? Shall we learn the DB2 part? DB2 part is already done guys. All of you. All of you in our everyone guys, all of you in this particular team who is there, your DB2 part is done. You have covered all the error codes that you need. You have the knowledge of pre-compilation. You have the knowledge of package plan. You have everything in your notepad already. You just need to prepare for an interview in a different way. I cannot cover the whole concepts of DB2 of 10 sessions in a one hour training, guys. Intro sessions are different than my regular sessions. The regular sessions where we covered COBOL, JSL, DB2, guys, those all things, guys. Who is this, Arvind? What is this? My class will start from Wednesday, so I should remove you from this batch. Should I? Should I? How you came into this batch? You are not supposed to be there in this July batch 2. You are from July batch 2. How you came to this batch? This is only for July batch 1. I should remove you, right? That is the point, Arvind. That's the reason why I don't add the people who did not complete DB2 in this batch. You are the only person is there. Who else is there, guys, who is not completed DB2 and still in this batch? Who else is there in this team? So, Arvind, you are the only one. I should remove you. I'll remember that later part. OK, I'm not, not interested that thing now. So anyway, the training what you're having in this intro sessions, guys, OK, the training what I'm having about this intro sessions now, it's not about the training what we already covered. OK, it's not really about what we already covered, guys. Those COBOL, JSL, DB2 training, which I spent 45 hours of my time and explained you all the topics one by one, one by one, that is to make you to remember all the concepts that you will use in the project that you will be using in the project. These intro sessions guys are something that will help you to crack an interview with a professional way. The complete concepts that will help you like you have every good thing now, but you need some polishing and that good things. So here guys, I want you to prepare your introductions first. Take your time. OK, not today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next day, maybe next week, whatever it is, your reason I don't know. When you are introducing yourself, guys, mention your experience in the mainframe. 